Hello and welcome back. In this session, we'll be covering VAT returns. Now, before we get started, I'll point out a few settings in the system that will ensure that you're correctly set up for your VAT. The first thing you'll need to do is enable VAT throughout the system, and that's done via the control panel, accounts, and general configurations. Select yes to charge VAT and enter your VAT registration number. You may want to add your VAT number on the bottom of your landlord statements or invoices. To do this, go to the control panel, templates, and first of all, let's take a look at an invoice template. Invoices can only be amended via the HTML that we're looking at here. If you do need assistance, do let us know. Now a statement on the other hand is a bit easier to amend. So let's take a look at a statement. Now for most templates, you're able to switch on the RTF editor and doing so will give us a user friendly interface to make any amendments as necessary. Okay, so that's how to enter your VAT number in the system, enable VAT, and also amend any templates as necessary. Now let's go to apply a charge and I'll show you some VAT features related to that. Right, the charge date will make this transaction fall into that VAT period. So do not backdate transactions in a period where the VAT has already been submitted and filed. You've got the ability to specify whether you charge VAT for each transaction. Now that was the charge, now let's take a look at some VAT reports to see what's been affected. Generate your VAT return period by selecting the dates and then clicking on submit. Going to the VAT drill down lets you see any income or expenses and their respective VATs. Clicking submit VAT return lets you submit directly to the HMRC. The second page lets us select a VAT period. Now this is non-editable and it will come from the HMRC. The API is configured by the control panel and general configurations. If you need assistance in setting this up, please contact our support team. Right, here's a quick summary of what we've done so far. We've enabled VAT via the control panel. We've amended the invoice and landlord statement templates. We applied a charge. We looked at the VAT report and the drill down report and we spoke about the Making Tax Digital API. There are three remaining things that I want to show you. Number one is how to make a correction to the VAT account. Number two is how to pay VAT and number three is how to quickly switch the VAT on or off throughout the system using a link at the top. Now looking at the VAT return, remember that we charged the landlord £100 plus VAT. We're now going to reverse this by entering a credit note. So if we go to lettings and then go into the landlord's account, we're going to issue a credit note against the invoice that we created. So let's go to issue credit note. Now select the invoice and related tenancy. Now, as well as making an amendment to the VAT account, the income account here will also be debited. OK, let's go back to account and take a look at the VAT report. As you can see here, the credit note has now put all the figures back to zero. The next feature I want to show you is to pay VAT. That can be done by simply clicking the button here that will let you make a payment from your bank to the HMRC. Now just bear in mind that it's a virtual payment so you need to make a payment from your online banking as you normally would but then record it virtually in the system. Right now the final feature I want to show you is just the link at the top here which lets you enable or disable the VAT throughout the system. 
Now, something to bear in mind is that if your colleagues are using the system at the same time and they're entering a transaction, this will affect their transaction too. If you wish to completely hide this link, that can be done via the control panel in the users and groups. 